Personal finance, Excel practice problem. Insurance payments for medical claims calculation. Prepare to get financially fit by practicing personal finance. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. If you don't have access to the worksheet, that's okay because we'll basically build this from a blank sheet. If you do have access, there's three tabs down below. An example tab, a practice tab, and a blank tab. The example tab in essence being an answer key. Let's take a look at it now. Information on the left-hand side related to health insurance and a claim. And then we're gonna be calculating how much might be paid by us, how much by the insurance company, and practicing a little bit Excel formatting and formula formatting as we do so. The practice tab, second tab will have some pre-formatted cells so you can work through the practice problem with less excel formatting the third tab the blank tab will basically be a blank sheet with just this information on the left if you don't have this you could just add the information on the left if you don't have this i would start by selecting the entire sheet with the triangle right clicking on the sheet formatting it in the way i would like my underlined formatting to be which i usually go to currency uh, brackets negative numbers and no dollar sign and i remove the decimals as my starting point i'm not going to say okay here but just x out of it uh, for because i already have the data on the left then enter the data changing cells as necessary like the percent here making that a percent format and then we can move forward from it so our information says we got the health insurance pays percent of out of hospital expenses after the deductible so remember the health insurance is a little bit more complicated in some ways than things like property insurance because the deductible is something that you have to pay to clear oftentimes but then you might be paying a percentage after that deductible. So we're gonna say after we clear the deductible at 70%, the deductible per person we're gonna say is $950. And so a doctor and prescription drugs for one family member is 4,000. So now we're gonna say the claim then for that one family member is 4,000. The deductible per person is 950. So we'll have to figure out how much the insurance company might pay, how much, how much we might have to pay. So let's do this in a couple different ways. I'm gonna start off by making this column D a little bit larger, putting my cursor between D and E. I'm in dark mode, by the way, if it looks a little bit different because it's easier on my eyes, or that's what they tell me. So here we go. So this is gonna be the amount paid by insurance company, company. That's gonna be our calculation, company. And if I misspell anything, uh, then I apologize. I might do a spell check at the end. But here we go. We're gonna to go to the home tab. We're gonna to go to the, to the uh, font group. I'm gonna put this black and white is my general custom. So we'll make that black and white like that. And then I'm gonna have a sub calculation. This is gonna be the amount over the deductible. Deductible is gonna be my sub calculation because I gotta figure out how much is gonna be over the deductible for the claim that we are making. So let's say that we have a claim amount amount i'm going to put this on the inside that's the four thousand dollars so we got to pay four thousand dollars that's the claim and we're going to say that the deductible per person and this is for one person so we're going to say that's going to be the 950 950 on the deductible putting an underline under that by going to the home tab font group let's put an underline underneath that one and this is going to be the amount over deductible we'll say if any and i'm going to make this cell a little bit a little bit well, i'll keep it there then we're going to put our cursor in the outer cell i'm going to bring this into the outer cell here and i'm doing my subtraction problem so i'm going to say equals and go up up over to the four thousand minus the over and up 950 that gives us the 3050 we'll do a little bit of the format in here i'm going to format these three cells i'm going to do some indentation by going to the home tab alignment let's do an indentation making it look a little nicer let's do an indentation here alignment and indent it again all right and then we're going to say this is the percent percent paid by insurance over the deductible which is going to be 70 percent i'm going to say equals and point to that 70 percent that's going to be paid by the insurance let's do some formatting on that one making it a percent percentifying it home tab number group percentification uh 70 percent and so then that's going to be the amount paid by insurance company is going to be equal to the 3050 times the 70 percent 
and that's gonna give us the 2135. Let's put an underline here, underline here, and let's do some formatting. I'm gonna make this one black and white on the end. Font group, black and white there. And let's do our, our whole formatting with the blue and borders. I'm gonna put my cursor on this whole thing and then go to the font group, make it border blue. Here's the borders and here's the bucket for the blue. And if you don't have that blue right there, you could go to the more and the standard and then in this little wheel, I'm just using that blue right there and okay, so there it is. So, so there we have that. Then we could make this a bit more fancy of, of a cell. So let's just think about this and say, well, what if this amount here that we're paying was below the deductible? Uh, what would be the amount paid by the insurance? It would be zero, right? So how can I reflect that? Let's put the 4,000 down here just so I remember it. And let's say this amount was only like, like a 700 for example. Notice my, my answer then doesn't really work because now this number really should be zero. So let's just do that in our Excel, practice our Excel formatting and go, okay, well, how can I make this worksheet work if I wanted to change my data on the left-hand side and, and allow it to adjust automatically? I can use, I can use an if then function. I could say, well, if equals if brackets, if this number, the 750 minus this number is less than, which is shift uh, shift the little the comma <laughs> and then if it's less than zero then I don't want you to put a negative number I'm gonna say comma that goes to the next argument what do I want you to do if it's zero I want you to put just a zero there then not a negative number but if not comma meaning if it's greater than zero then I want you to do the calculation which I got to put in again which is 700 minus the 950 or e3 minus e4 close up the brackets shift zero and enter so you don't have to do that but that makes it so it kind of works out and doesn't give you that that false number just a little excel practice if i change this back up to 4000 then we should have the same calculation we had prior and then i can adjust it and and it'd be a little bit more adjustable now let now i could then calculate let's put this down here the amount paid out of pocket or the amount paid by us then let's say the out of pocket and then i'm going to make this header black and white again i'm going to go select the home tab font group let's make this black and white and then i'm going to say okay well if i do the out of pocket i could start out with the amount paid over the over the deductible the amount paid over the deductible if any Let's make this a little bit longer. I'll put this over here and make this black and white too. I'll put this in the outer column because I've got room over here. So we'll make that the 3,050. And so, and then the amount paid by the insurance company is this amount. So the amount over the deductible then paid by us, let's put an underline here. This is gonna be the amount paid by us over the deductible. So the amount over deductible paid let's say like out of pocket i won't put that here we'll say this is going to be equal to this number minus this number so that's the 915 and then we also had to pay the deductible which is that 950 so then we're going to say the deductible so we'll say the deductible if any which is going to be so this is going to be actually it's going to be what is it going to be the up to the deductible claim up to deductible and so i'm going to so i'm going to pull in the deductible which is going to be now if, i'm going to show you a couple ways to do this if i pull in the 950 and then i go okay let's do an underline here that means that the out of pocket out of pocket is a total of the sum of these two and that would be the, the 1865, I can do my check figure, figure, which would be adding the amount paid equals by the insurance company and the amount paid by us, which would equal the total amount of the of the bill, right? And so I can under, I could then, let's do some blue and border here, home tab, font group, borders and blue, border blue. Let's do a border blue down here too, border blue, font group, blue and the borders. Now again, if I put the 4,000 down here and I say, well, what if I change this to like 700 again? Now notice that this amount right here isn't really working because I wouldn't be paying the full deductible then. I would only be paying the claim 
up to the deductible. So what I wanna do is take the smaller of these two numbers, the claim or the deductible. So I can make this a little bit uh, fancier with Excel. I can say this is gonna be equal the min function, the min function of these two, just take the smaller of the two of those two. So it's like the sum function, but with a min instead. And then I say enter. And so then I got just the 700 that, that uh, would be paying, that we would be paying because we didn't clear the deductible yet. So then if I bring it back up to 4,000, we should, we should be back to the same spot. So that looks good. Let's just calculate it another way. This is another way that you might see it. You might first think, well, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna think about how much I have to pay first. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a skinny column. I'm gonna take this skinny C and go to the home tab, format painter, format paint it and make a skinny G out of it, skinny G. And then this is gonna be the amount paid let's say paid out of pocket. So that's the first thing we'll think about. And so I'll make this a little bit larger, a little wider here. So there we have that. And then I'm gonna make this a little smaller so we can have a bit more room. Maybe I can make these two smaller so I can save some space without making it too small. Okay, so then I'm gonna select these three we're going to go then to the home tab font group and we'll make this blue let no black and white black and white that's our header because that is our custom so then i'm going to do the same calculation to start off with we would do the same thing up top the amount over the deductible calculation i'm just going to say equals the claim amount same number claim amount same thing and then we've got the deductible per person which is the 950 Let's put an underline under that. And this is gonna give us the amount over the deductible, just like we started with before, which would equal the 4,000 minus the 950. Let's do our indentation. I'm gonna select these three, home tab, alignment, indent, this one, alignment, indent again. So then I wanna take a look at the percent. I'm gonna call this the percent out of pocket out of pocket this is where things are switching up here because because now i'm not trying to calculate the amount the insurance company is going to pay but how much we pay so i'm going to take this is the amount that they're they're going to pay in percent so if i take one minus that amount that's the percent we're going to pay so let's take one or one 100 in other words minus the amount that that comes that paid by the insurance company which is the 70 percent and let's make that a percent. I'm gonna to go to the home, the numbers group, percentify it. We could percentify this one, 100%, but I usually don't. I usually just keep it like at one for some reason. And then I'll go to the font group and underline it. And then this is gonna be the percent out of pocket. And so this will be equal to one or 100% minus 70% which would of course equal 30% once we percentify the cell, which we'll do thusly, home tab, number group, percentify, percentify. You better percentify. And then we're gonna say, and then recognize that you percent. Okay, we're gonna select these three, home tab, alignment, and indent, indent this one again, home tab, alignment, indent again. And so this is gonna be the amount amount over deductible paid that we paid is what I'm trying to say. So now this is gonna be equal. This is the amount over the deductible times the 30%. I'm just working in the outer column now. Times the 30%, there's the 915. There could be rounding involved here, but I'll keep it at that. So then we've got the deductible. So they got the deductible uh, amount uh, that we have to deal with. So I'm going to call it claim up to deductible or the deductible. I'll start just with the deductible. Same kind of situation we had down here. We'll adjust it a bit in a second. But if I take that 950, then we're going to say that the total, the total out of pocket is going to equal the sum of those two. Sum it up. Sum it up. I'm going to go to the home tab font group and underline I'm gonna to go to this one home tab font group and underline again so there we have it so that kind of matches this amount here and then of course we can do kind of our check figure let's do our check figure again 
another check figure down here and we'll check it out compared to uh, to the amount paid by the insurance company. So I could say this is the total out of pocket is this number. And then I'll just pick up the amount paid by the insurance company paid by insurance was this number we calculated over here. And that is that. And if I sum those two up, you get the total claim amount, which is our check figure. This is that 4,000 once again. So we checked it out. Let's put some, let's put some fancy blues and borders, font group blue, or border blue, border blue, border blue. And then this one, let's do a border blue on that too. Border blue on that too. Font group, border blue. And then we can do some fancy formatting over here. So let's do the same thing. I'm gonna put my 4,000 down here and let's pretend that this number was below the 950, like 600 this time. Notice this side's calculating properly here. So we would have to pay the 600 because we still had to pay the amount up to the deductible. The insurance didn't kick in until we clear the deductible. So I could do the same thing we did over here. I wanna take the smaller of these two numbers. So, or, you know, subtraction, I don't wanna go below zero in other words. So I can do that by saying equals if, this is one way you can do it, if this number minus this number is less than zero, then comma, just put a zero in. That's what this is, I'm on this, just put a zero if that happens, don't go negative, don't go negative on me. Stay positive people, stay positive. That's the theme of the presentation. So if not, then you do the calculation of this minus this, and, and then I'll close up the brackets and boom. So now it's zero. But then down here, you've got this claim uh, up to the deductible. I took the whole deductible amount and it should be the smaller of the deductible or the claim if it's smaller than the deductible. So I wanna take the smaller of these two amounts. So I can say, well, this is gonna be equal to the min function. Let's use our trusty min function of those two, like the sum, but with a min. Same way to use it. So now it took the 600 instead of the 950. That looks good. And so that, so that looks correct, I think. So let's go down here and then say, then let's bring this back up to 4,000 and we should be back, we should be back in process. So now you got something that we could do the calculation and you also got a worksheet over here so that if you were to switch stuff up, say that this was different or you're comparing policies or you're comparing, you know, what would happen if and then we had a change to the, the deductible or the charges, if I made this 6,000 or something, then you can check it out and that's how you should be setting up the worksheets. Let's bring it back down to 4,000, there it is.